It may make you sad to hear it, but this is the last story I'm going to tell you. I know, you like to hear funny stories with jolly people and a happy end, but I don't have the strength for that anymore. What difference would it make if I lied to you? Well, my last story takes place in a land far away, a land that is about to die. It begins in the autumn forest. This is the story of Sadwick, the sorrowful clown. Sadwick is sleeping uneasily, like every night. And he doesn't even know that he'll destroy the world in the course of just a few days. What a nightmare. Every night it's the same. I can hardly remember the last time I had a decent night's sleep. Spot? Where could Spot be? He usually comes to see me in the morning. Ben must have put it up there for a reason. Probably as a reminder that I'm not capable of doing anything right without his help. What was that note again? Ah, yes. I remember now. It's where Ben sketched out how the human cannonball act is supposed to work. It's so unfair. He can even draw better than me. Ah, yes. A broken stovepipe. Quite funny how the mind works. Since the handle broke, I made a fuss about how cold it is, forgetting how I always complained about the smoke before. There's only that stupid note in there. Ben made me write down all my chores. Pure harassment, if you ask me. Oh... Ah, what the heck. I'd better collect the note anyway. Maybe I'll find a fire somewhere. Friend has given me a lot of tedious chores for today. Ah, why did I even bother to get out of bed? And we'll pay for this. I could have croaked. I can't reach it. Can't Ah! 
Sandwick! Are you awake? Come here at once! The day's already wasting away! Ah, <sighs> right. Another happy day in the colorful world of the circus. Spot! Don't just lie around like that. What's wrong with you? What do you think's wrong with him? Maybe he's sick. The plague. Or food poisoning. Don't talk such nonsense. Worm fungus? Blue pox? It could be anything. He's thirsty, Sadwick. That's what happens if you don't carry out your chores properly. Spot can take it. He's tough. You've got a lot to learn. Caterpillars don't grow very old. Not if you treat them like this anyway. You better get used to the idea. You're just saying that to annoy me. I'm serious. You better give him something to drink. Yeah, whatever, Ben. Come on. Let's go, Spot. We'll get you something to drink. And after that, maybe we can finally do something useful. All right, Spot. Time to have a drink. There you go. Hi, Ben. Hi, sleepyhead. How often do I have to tell you? Rehearsals start at sunrise. It's not my fault. I slept very badly last night. Slept badly? What's that supposed to mean? Not those nightmares again. They're not ordinary nightmares. They always feel so real. The earthquake, the craggy rocks. Good heavens, Sadwick. Now pull yourself together. You're a clown, a jester, an entertainer. You're supposed to make people happy, not depressed. When's our next performance? Ah, uh, who knows? This stretch of land is just as deserted as all the others we recently passed through. People are leaving the land. They fear the end of the world. See you. Yep, see you. And don't forget, keep smiling. You're a clown, remember? <sighs> In this condition, Spot would make terrific bait. Too bad the trap is much too small for him. Mm, you shouldn't let Spot have too much to drink. He'll get bladder trouble. Like you, Grandpa? He already looks rather bloated. Uh, yeah. Like you, Grandpa. Grandpa looks even Ah, uh, hello, Grandpa. Oh, hello, Ben. You look different. Is, is that a new hat you're wearing? I'm not Ben, Grandpa. I know, Ben. They don't make hats like they used to anymore. I'm Sadwick. When I was a little clown, we used to wear real hats with big, firm bubbles. Sadwick. Your grandson. I could knock out a full-grown ox with my bubbles. <sighs> I know that poor animal, but that's the way people like their hats back then. Now, what can I do for you, Ben? I wish you wouldn't always mistake me for Ben. I know. <laughs> the world is a veil of tears when you're young. Everybody's against you. But there are worse things than tight hats and pinching shirt sleeves, you know. I'm paying close attention to your words of wisdom, like always. When you're old, there are tight pains and pinching pantaloons, too. And this, my boy, is the most important lesson to take into old age. Loose-fitting pantaloons are the most loyal friends you could ever ask for. 
Heavens, did he manage to bring his pantaloons into the conversation again? I had one of those terrible nightmares again. There's a cute saying I remember from my boyhood on that very subject. <laughs> what was it? There, I forgot. You mean the old saying, dreams are ten a penny? What? That's such nonsense. Dreams are not ten a penny. I once knew a guy who, who sold dreams at considerably higher prices. <laughs> Now that I think of it, uh, that guy might have been me. Who in the world bought dreams? No one. Really, that was where the plan fell short. Ah, but it was worth a try. There are always fools who spend money on any little nonsense. Say, Grandpa, you've seen a lot of things in your time, haven't you? <laughs> you can say that again. You can ask me whatever you, um, uh, whatever you can carry. What do you know about the Autumn Forest? Ah, the Autumn Forest is a, it's an enchanted place full of mystery. Strange creatures dwell there, but, but not as many nowadays as in the past. In ancient times, lots of diverse tribes lived there. Ah, you can still find traces of them in, in, in ruins and in, in caves. When I was a child, half the valley was submerged underwater. Now, there's only that little lake with the island. That's all I can remember at the moment. That's not surprising. You'd even forget the color of your hair if you didn't look in the mirror regularly. <laughs> but I still know that it starts with a G. That doesn't count. You're just guessing. But I'm right. Why? <laughs> yes, um... See? And uh, that's, uh, that's all I need to know. Uh, please let it be green. You know what? I'll just look it up myself. Yes, yes, yes. Couldn't hurt. I might still seem quite bright in the head. <laughs> hey, but sometimes the details get a little mixed up. See you later. Cheer up, Ben. I hope to take but he just can't reach the handle. What a shame. He's asleep. He's the only one in... Thank God Spot doesn't have any claws. Who knows what he would do with them? You've grown really fat, Spot. You used to be able to squeeze through the tiniest of holes. Now look at you. <laughs> 